Studio 16 in the heart of Santa Monica. This is Santa Monica Weekly with your hosts, Chris Baelish and Veronica Castro. On this week's show, July is National Parks and Recreation Month. Brad Albert shows us what makes Santa Monica's parks a hit with locals. There are a lot of friendly pals up for adoption at Santa Monica's newly renovated animal shelter. Why are all these families out on bikes together? Learn more about Kittical Mass. Hi everyone, welcome to Santa Monica Weekly, your local news and information headquarters for the city of Santa Monica. I'm Chris Baelish. And I'm Veronica Castro. Thanks for joining us. First up today, Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi was in Santa Monica this week to talk about the Highway Trust Fund at the California Incline. Congressman Ted Lieu held a press conference to talk about the importance of funding for road repairs. He was joined by Santa Monica Mayor Kevin McKeown, Rusty Hicks of LA County Federation of Labor, and Supervisor Sheila Kuehl. Welcome to Santa Monica, where even our construction sites are beautiful and photogenic. <laughs> so this is where the money actually gets used, places like this. This kind of infrastructure improvement is why the federal highway funding is so important to us. California motorists pay on average $586 in extra uh, vehicle repairs each and every year as a result of the roads. This issue of the Highway Trust Fund, uh, uh, investing in the infrastructure of America has never really been partisan in the past. But it's about the promotion of commerce and moving people from work, home to work, children from home uh, to school, produce and product uh, to, uh, uh, to market in this great state of California. In honor of National Parks and Recreation Month, the City of Santa Monica is encouraging community members to rediscover the great outdoors this July. We sent Community Recreation Manager Brad Albert to show us how locals get out and enjoy our community's parks and recreation facilities. Hi, I'm Brad Albert. I'm the Community Recreation Manager for the City. And July is National Park and Recreation Month. And we're going to go out and about to some of Santa Monica's parks, and we're going to kind of see what people are up to. Uh, I came here on the request of my three-year-old son. This is one of our favorite parks. Uh, we love the airplane, the airport's nearby, and we like to watch the airplanes take off and land so, and play in the sand. And how many times would you say in a month that you guys come to the park? Probably at least four to five times a month. We have a camp that's happening, the Red Rose uh, uh, Camps, and we've got a bunch of like 23 little kids that are all here to have a good time. We come every other week, we come nearly every day. We come till about one o'clock. Sounds perfect. Can you enjoy when you guys come? Oh, love it. We love it. We love all the structures that are happening. So they have some free play as well. So they're using all the, uh, all the apparatus and the equipment. And we bring our hula hoops and balls and we have a little family kind of gathering camp. Uh, you know, I'm here with Broadway Gymnastics Camp. We come out to uh, all the local parks here, Mar Vista, Santa Monica, Playa Vista. And, uh, you know, have the kids come out and have a good time. And I try to have a good time too. Well, cool, and I understand that, that you also come out of here both, both professionally and personally. Is that true? You bring your own kids out? I definitely like to uh, come out and get a lather on the basketball courts as much as I can. We're at Douglas Park, and we have Carlos, who helps to keep Santa Monica Parks beautiful. Carlos, this is a beautiful park. It probably takes a lot every day to keep this baby up and running. We overlooking uh, public restrooms and uh, park facilities. Uh, over at Permit Holders, I'm also responsible for overseeing the outside perimeter, make sure everything is clean, looks presentable for the public to come and enjoy themselves. I've been coming here for 40 years. Come here, I have my lunch regularly and know all the bowling people here, so we're all, everyone knows each other here. So there you have it. Again, July is National Park and Recreation Month all over the United States. The weather's great. Head out to one of Santa Monica's 27 parks and enjoy yourself. Have a great day. Santa Monica is home to an award-winning network of nearly 30 parks and recreation resources. For more information, visit smgov.net slash parks. I think my favorite park is Palisades Park. That oh, that's beautiful. That view overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Amazing. It, it really is. I love Tampa Park, but they're oh, yeah, all beautiful. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> all right, well, what's a great way to encourage your children to ride a bike while having a great family experience? Answer, take them on a critical mass bike ride in Santa Monica. Reporter Jackie Brick shows us exactly what that is. We're here in Reed Park at Kittical Mass, a family fun bike ride where kids and their parents are about to get their ride on. Let's take a look. 
I think Ronan finds bike riding calming for him. I think it forces him to focus on the, the bicycling as opposed to um, being distracted, you know, because he has sensory issues and if he hears something like a loud noise, he'll want to look at it. But when he's biking, he knows that he has to pay attention to, to the road and, and follow the bike lane and so forth. It's, it's just great to be able to bike with him and with, with my daughter as well. <laughs> yeah. Critical Mass was started in Eugene, Oregon. It spawned originally from Critical Mass, which was a group bike ride, and it kind of turned into this unruly sort of bike ride, and people don't follow the rules, and um, some cities started to ban it. And then people said, why not make this something fun, friendly, that cities can recognize? Um, so various cities have kind of been jumping on board and uh, joining the Kittical Mass movement. So it's just kind of like fun, family-friendly bike rides. Uh, they usually take place on the weekends. Santa Monica has been a part of it for about three years now. Since 2012, I believe, was the first one. We just want everybody to be having a good time. and. Uh, being cheerful and enthusiastic and excited for kind of kicking off summer, excited to be riding their bikes, being with their families. It's hot out, it's nice, um, enjoying the, the weather and uh, having a good time. We did this one time about six months ago and the kids had a great time, so I figured I'd bring them out again, so it was great. When I get a chance to do something with all three of them, or four of them actually, it's a blessing. What's it like leading this team? Well, it's more fun than you might think. Well, I actually, it's, it's just a ton of fun. They are a great group since we've been the, since the first critical mass. Uh, it's just been growing and growing and growing, and the kids love it. The parents love it. Um, the city loves it. After a mile and a half of an intense bike ride, these cyclists are smiling all the way to the finish line. In Santa Monica, I'm Jackie Brick, Santa Monica Weekly. The next Kittical Mass is taking place September 19th, and it's pirate-themed. How fun is that? For more information, check out kitticalmass.org. Well, Santa Monica Parks were alive with the sound of music as the city took part in a worldwide music event. Make Music Day brought friends and families together to enjoy musical talent, free lessons, and giveaways. Photojournalist Emanuel Alvarado has the story. This is Make Music Day. This is by all accounts, one of the nicest venues that we could ever have in the world. We have a variety of music here for Make Music Day. and We're using seven different parks in our city all afternoon for free music, performed for free, by musicians, listened to and danced to for free. And it's part of a worldwide celebration. 100 countries, 850 cities this afternoon throughout the world on the first day of summer. We think it's wonderful to be able to come out on a Sunday afternoon for music. Okay. It's, just, it's just wonderful. It's a beautiful day near the ocean. The, the, the sailboats are out. Listening to the music is just great. Love it. I'm co-chair of the Pico Neighborhood Association, and we're very honored to be hosting music in the park today. We wanted to bring families together, so we, we catered um, the event as well. We brought food and music, and there's no better way to bring people together. Okay. We encourage communities to bring music into their own neighborhoods. Um, local musicians, people who live in the community, to come and kind of give back to their own and do something um, for their neighbors, their friends, and to bring unity to every neighborhood. It's also inspiring because we open the stage to all levels of talent. So anyone can sign up to play. A beginner, a kid, a senior citizen, and we try and make music performance accessible to everybody. Eight stages Santa Monica has. That's more than any other city in L.A. County. Music is a really powerful force. And Santa Monica is such, it, it's such a big name all over the world, but it's really a very intimate city. And what we want to do is bring music to the people, bring the people out together with the music from every neighborhood. Our motto at Make Music L.A. is your neighborhood, your music. Make Music L.A. is all about music, art, culture, it doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't matter what culture you are, it doesn't matter how professional you are on your instrument. All that matters is you come out and celebrate music and art on Make Music LA Day. That was the fourth year in a row that seven of our Santa Monica Parks staged free musical performances. To find out where you can enjoy the festivities next year, go to makemusicla.org. Hey Chris, you like to read, right? Oh, absolutely, yes. And do you like the beach? 
please, have you seen my tan? That's a yes. <laughs> So why not combine the two? I love it. <laughs> Photojournalist Deirdre Ferris went to the pop-up library to give us a look at why summer and reading belong together like the surf and sun. Welcome to Santa Monica Public Library at the beach. This is the very first time uh, we've tried a pop-up library. And as far as I know, the very first pop-up library on the beach in Southern California. We've got books for everyone here. Uh, books from everyone from toddlers uh, to adults. We have Lots of fun fiction, uh, popular stuff like Stephen King, Nora Roberts, more serious stuff like F. Scott Fitzgerald, um, and even some fun nonfiction. Part of Santa Monica Public Library at the Beach uh, is bringing our services uh, out into the open. And one of those services is children's story time. Um, and this seemed like the perfect place to put on a story time. We've already got a ton of kids here at the beach. And so what better place to get them together and listen to some stories. We have a wide range of programs at our pop-up libraries. Everyone will feature a seaside story time for kids in the morning. Then uh, we have active programs. Like this afternoon, we're going to have a hula dancing class. At a later pop-up, we're going to have hula hooping lessons, um, beachside yoga, tai chi, arts and crafts, a whole bunch of different stuff. The next pop-up library will take place Friday, July 24th at the Annenberg Community Beach House. So grab your towel and sunscreen and let them take care of the books. Well, local artists with Tiada Productions are using their skills to build community through gathering and sharing stories in pop-up theater. Gail Fetzer joined pop-up Tiada for a recent event at Virginia Avenue Park. We're Tieta Productions, and we're here in um, Virginia Park in Santa Monica doing a pop-up Tieta. Now, pop-ups we've been doing all over the city, but thanks to the city of Santa Monica and the Arts Commission, we are able to bring a pop-up here to the community. We've been collaborating with Pico Youth and Family Center, and we're bringing it here to this beautiful Saturday morning at the Farmer's Market. Today, what we're doing is a uh, theater performance in the park with Tieta. Uh, they came and did a series of workshops in the Pico Youth and Family Center and uh, engaged the young people of our community. And so we're very happy that today we get to see their final product, their beautiful performance in the park. The workshops have been centered around um, some of the different issues that the youth are having at the Pico Youth and Family Center. And we've also tried to center stories about food traditions and people's families. It's not just in a theater anymore. It's not just in a uh, performance space, but now it's, it's open. Big thank you to City of Santa Monica and the Santa Monica Arts Commission for just funding us uh, and making this all possible. A big thank you to Tiada for serving as a bridge between the health, education, and social justice issues that matter so much to Santa Monica. Absolutely. And rescued cats now have a lot more room to play at the newly renovated animal shelter. Reporter Naibe Reynoso takes us to the grand reopening to showcase the recent renovations. I'm Naiba Reynoso. There were a lot of cute pups and cats up for adoption at the grand reopening of the city of Santa Monica's animal shelter. Today we're celebrating the achievements of our staff and also the, um, our new renovations that we've done to our shelter. Including a newly remodeled cat facility. We've got adult cats uh, who are very loving and very sweet and would love to have a permanent family. And we've got some kittens. The event also offered free rabies and microchipping for all Santa Monica residents. And we feel that microchipping is very important because it allows people to be reunited with their pets when they're lost. And we, of course, feel that rabies vaccination is extremely important for the community. So tell us about your little son here. Uh, Casey is about three years old. He was uh, an abused dog, and somebody gave him to my daughter. You have two doggies here, and you're here to adopt another one? Yes, my son is uh, absolutely fell in love with one of the dogs here by the name of Foxy. And here at the Santa Monica Animal Shelter, there are so many cute dogs to adopt, like this little puppy. Frankie. Adopt a pet, and if you have a pet, keep your pet spayed or neutered. Help control the pet population today. Now let's go back to that cute little puppy. He was so adorable, I just had to take him home. After all, it was Chief Seabrooks's orders. I'm here with the chief. Oh, no, 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 no. Hi, I'm Chief Jacqueline Seabrooks from the Santa Monica Police Department, and I'm here with City TV's Naive. Tell me your last name. Reynoso. Okay, so I'm here with Naive Reynoso, who normally does this, but not today. So, 
We're out here at the Santa Monica Animal Shelter and we're enjoying the activities associated with the grand reopening. But I see that Naive has a guest. <laughs> and who's this? This is Pongo, a doggy that I just adopted like 10 minutes ago. Oh my God, see, <laughs> now we know it's working. The whole point of our grand reopening today is to get more people to come out and adopt a furry friend. And Naive has come out and adopted a furry friend named Pongo. Pongo. I came as a reporter and I left as a dog owner. Oh my. For Santa Monica City TV, I'm Naive Reynoso. Santa Monica is leading the way in its commitment to providing excellent care to animals and in addition the shelter is currently installing a mobile building that will serve as an intake and examination space with the canine area next up to be renovated. Now just wait a second. Did she actually adopt that she, dog? She sure did. She left as a dog owner. How cool is that? That is amazing. <laughs> Good for her. Such a cute little dog too. Oh yeah, adorable. How can you say no to that face? <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break. In the meantime, grab something to write on. And when we return, we're going to let you know about upcoming events coming to Santa Monica. And don't forget, a great way to stay informed about what's happening in our city is to follow us on Twitter. Hashtag Santa Monica Weekly. We'll be right back. I thought I had everything under control. Then, one day, something happened. I didn't know how to stop it. I didn't know there was help. Until someone told me. Providing access to justice, the Legal Aid Foundation of Los Angeles can help with domestic violence issues, eviction defense, government benefits, immigration, and other civil legal issues. Experience Highways Performance Space and Gallery. I knew my journey would lead me to a place. Where I'd find a highway that I could travel to the beat of my own drum. Right out the storm, 95 Joey died, but Deadly was born. And there would be no limits to the vibrancy of my performance. Join us each week at Highways Performance Space and Gallery and live without limits. Log on to highwaysperformance.org. Right next to the library on 7th Street is the Santa Monica History Museum, where history comes to life for the entire family. Enjoy the exhibits, main gallery, the photo archive, research gallery, and much more. Come visit the Santa Monica History Museum, keeping history alive. Welcome back to Santa Monica Weekly, your best source for all the need-to-know information and fun activities happening around the city. First up, if you like dancing to classic Latin music like I do, make sure you head to the Santa Monica Pier this week for the Twilight Concert Series. This Thursday, you can jam alongside a 14-piece Cuban orchestra with Cubanismo and the musical force Chicano Batman. The evening will be filled with salsa, cumbia, rumba, cha-cha, and more. And if you're heading to the concert, make sure you take advantage of the city's free bike valet program. This is awesome. If you ride your bike to the pier, you don't have to lock it up. You don't have to worry about finding a parking space. You don't even have to worry about dealing with traffic congestion. And it's conveniently located right beside the pier. And if you don't have a bike but you want a sustainable alternative to driving, riding the bus just got a lot easier in Santa Monica. Big Blue Bus has launched a mobile app called Next Bus that gives real-time information on the specific location of your bus and pretty close to exactly when it's going to arrive. You can try it out yourself at bigbluebus.com com slash next bus. Chris, did you know that it only takes one gallon of motor oil to pollute one million gallons of drinking water? Ooh, ick. Yeah, that's why Santa Monica offers convenient locations all over town that collect used oil for recycling. On July 25th, you can bring your used motor oil and oil filters for recycling at O'Reilly Auto Parts from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. You can exchange your used oil filter for a free new one and get a free recycling container for used motor oil. For more information, contact Resource Recovery and Recycling division at 310-458-2223. Well, are you looking for a fun evening of good old-fashioned fun with the family? Well, then take, make plans to go to the third annual community picnic at the Annenberg Beach House on July 23rd from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Pack a dinner, grab the kids, rally your friends, and gather in the courtyard to dine al fresco with your BYO picnic. They'll have ping pong, hula hoops, ladder ball, and more. You can also jump in in a game of pickup volleyball, soccer, or beach tennis. Craft projects and story time will be available for ages 2 to 5 and some surprise fun for all. 
Well, do you ever find yourself looking for an excuse to get an early start on the weekend? I know I do. This Friday, head over for a picnic on the promenade. This event happens every Friday from noon to three at the intersection of Arizona and Third Street. This Friday, there will be the Rower Challenge presented by Orange Theory Fitness. This annual summer series is a great way to escape from the office and have lunch outdoors in the sunshine. You can bring your lunch or buy something yummy on the promenade. Next week, Southern California will play host to the Special Olympics World Games. This is a huge deal. Special Olympics SoCal enriches the lives of athletes with intellectual disabilities in their communities through sports, education, and athlete health. July 25th through August 2nd, more than 7,000 athletes from 177 countries will compete in 27 sporting events. All competitions are free and open to the public, so go out and support the athletes. For more information, visit SOC. SC.org. Well, Santa Monica Weekly is a great way to get the word out about fun events happening around the city. So if you know about an upcoming activity that's open to the public, let us know about it and we'll try to get it on the show. And also don't forget, follow us on Facebook. We post all the time about the fun and, and important events in the city. Hashtag Santa Monica Weekly. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Discover 30 years of opera in Santa Monica. Discover the Verdi Chorus. Riding a bicycle can seem like child's play. But only if you're playing indoors. <laughs> Cars and bikes need to play together. Play it safe. Ride by the rules. Hey, share the road! Who knows what gratitude means? Nicholas? To be thankful. Writing letters to our military is a great way to say thank you for their service. Frisco! Somebody loves you. Dear soldier, thank you for keeping me safe. You're my hero. To donate or send a care package to America's Heroes, visit OperationGratitude.com. Welcome back to Santa Monica Weekly. Now we're going to talk about how you can get active with the police department in thousands of communities nationwide. Joining us on set today is Santa Monica Neighborhood Resource Officer Ricky Verbeck. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for now, having me. the Santa Monica Police Department is hosting the 32nd annual National Night Out, and Chris and I are actually going to be there with you mm -hmm. August 4th. So, what can we expect? You can expect a lot of fun, a lot of games, dancing, music, prizes, raffle prizes. So this is like a party. It is. Oh, it, it's, our, it's a chance for us, the police department, to get back, to get the community together, to just be able to let our hair down, to relax, and not be formal, to just, just have fun. Well, we love parties, so. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be there. So for people who aren't familiar with it, what is National Night Out? It's one day a year. It, it's August 4th. And all, nationally, all the police departments get together and we have an outing with our, with our communities. And it's a way to promote safety with the community. It's a way to promote togetherness to our, our joined forces. And it's just a way for, for the people to interact with us in a non-formal way. Now, speaking of joined forces, do you feel that the community residents and the police department have shared efforts against crime? Absolutely. You have to. You have to share efforts. We, we can't do it ourselves. The, the residents, the community, they can't do it themselves. We have to work together. And we need it. We need the people to call us if there's an issue. We need the people to help us if we're looking for a suspect. We have to work hand in hand. There's no other way about it. Yeah, so good community relations is a very important part Absolutely. of police work. Uh, what kind of games, what kind of family stuff? Is this for all ages? Oh, yes. Well, this is great. So this year, it, it's, a, it's an active theme. It's be active. It's to be active with the police department. But not just with a neighborhood watch or not just with your, with your neighbors and communities. It's physically to be active, to stay healthy. I mean, you know Santa Monica, you see a lot of people out there running and exercising. I mean, it's great. So we're going to have rock climbing walls. We're going to have, I think, uh -huh. two huge slides for the kids. We're going to have an inflatable obstacle course that you can just run through with, with your children or by yourself. We're going to have these games that you can throw footballs into the holes and baseballs and carnival games, 
hot dogs and food and popcorn. It's going to be awesome. How fun. Wow. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Got to have some way to burn off those hot dogs, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of games, here's a serious question. Um, I love raffle games, mm -hmm. and you mentioned that they're going to be there. Oh, yes. Any insider tips yes. for us? Yes. Do you have Facebook? Yes, I do. So we're going to give a raffle ticket to those who like us on Facebook, those who oh. follow us on Twitter. Nice. nice. And if you've already done that, if you're ahead of the game, just show us once you're there at, the, at our booth. We'll go ahead and give you a raffle ticket. And then we're going to do a scavenger hunt. So we're going to give you a card, and you go to every booth, get your stamp, interact with the booths, and that gives you another raffle ticket. So you have chances of getting three. So if people are watching right now, they go to Facebook, yes. to Santa Monica Police Department, or Twitter, Correct. make sure they like them, mm -hmm. and then they'll get a free raffle ticket. Absolutely. That sounds fun. That's I'm going to be doing system. that next. <laughs> what about uh, demonstrations and performances yes. that night? Yes. We're going to have every one of our details and units there. We're going to have our canines. We're going to have our mounted officers. We're going to have our motors. We're going to have the 64 Plymouth that we take out. We're going to have our SWAT team, our neighborhood resource officers, patrol officers. Wow. Everyone that we have in our department, they're all going to be there. Anybody going to be teaching self-defense this year? We are. We actually will. Yes. Yes. I love that. My partner, that. Officer Eric Milosevic, he'll be, he's also a neighborhood resource officer, and he'll be there. We'll have Krav Maga there as well. And we'll be able to teach some people to defend themselves. Awesome. So you mentioned um, some of the things are going to be there. I love seeing the police gear, the squad cars, things like that. What other kind of gear and equipment will you have on display at this event? We're going to have our SWAT vests. Oh, the yeah. big, heavy SWAT vest for the kids to take pictures with. They can put they it on. They get to put it on. Oh, yeah. oh wow. We'll actually put it on. We'll <laughs> take out our, our SWAT Hummer that's out there. It's this big, green, beast-looking machine. Wow. And you can climb bulletproof? around inside. Yeah. Is it? It is bulletproof, yes. And we're going to have our motors. The motor officers let the kids hop on, put on their helmets, and take pictures as well. The, the motor, motorcycles? Yes. Right. Yes. Very so, cool. uh, like we said, this has been an annual event, and I'm curious, what's been your favorite part of National Night Out in the years past? To be able to just relax with the community, to, to not be the impartial party that, that's at the, you know, whatever the problem is. To be able to just relax. To dance. I, I love to dance. So, to dance with the people, to be there, to be on stage to take pictures, to just interact in just a fun way. That's my favorite part. And just see that the way that the children respond, it's amazing. Wait, I mean, wait till you guys go there and see. It is really a sight to see these, the children there. Can't wait. Um, we were down at the pier concert, the Twilight mm -hmm. concerts uh, at the pier this past week, and we saw the mounted police officers yes. from SMPD. Tell us a little bit about that detail. What's their that role, and will they be there at this event? They will be there. Okay. Uh, I was a mounted officer for seven years. So I was, I was one of the guys that you saw on the horses. And it's a collateral assignment, meaning it's not full time. So whoever you have on the horse, their, well, our day job could be a motor officer, it could be a patrol officer, it could be a sergeant. You know. um, who you see now, we have Bert, he's the big black horse. Okay. And his best friend Barney, he's the, the brown horse. Then you're going to see Spider-Man. And he's Iron a horse? Man, yeah. He's a horse. <laughs> well, what happened is we had a contest and, and oh. with these kids, and the winner got to name the horses. That's why you have Burton, Barney, and Spider Man, <laughs> so and Iron cute. Man. <laughs> so <laughs> so cool. always had the weird names. People always got caught off guard, but they are going to be there. Uh, you'll probably see Spider Man. He's like our most gentle, awesome horse. He's great with children. So cute. So let's get to the details. Tell us when and where National Night Out is going to take place. August fourth, six to eight p.m. And it's going to be in the Civic parking lot. So it's right there on that corner of Fort Right Mabico. by the police station. Exactly. And, uh, so for all of our viewers, how can they get more information? Is there a phone number they can call? Absolutely. You can call our community affairs at 310-458-8474. Or you can go to our Facebook page, okay. slash San Monica PD. And make sure you like it so that you yes. can get those raffle <laughs> tickets. It's going to be a great party. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you so much for being here. We look forward to joining you on August 4th and dancing, taking self-defense lessons, <laughs> playing those raffle games, <laughs> eating lots of yummy food. Car. Yeah. <laughs> 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 trying on the SWAT vest. Right. I could try it on, right? I'm yeah, not a kid, absolutely. but all right. Thank awesome. you so much again. Hey, really appreciate it. And that is our show for this week. Thank you all for joining us. And thanks to all of our reporters and guests who appeared on the show this week. Please join us again next week. And remember to set your DVR to record us, or you can also watch us on our YouTube channel. And be sure to follow us on Instagram for updates and information about all the fun things happening around town. We'll be back next week with another edition of Santa Monica Weekly.